Hey everyone, welcome to this radio video. And this video is going to try to explain in a simple way what synchronous detection is, why a radio with it is kind of nice, and also um, kind of explain a little bit the problems with a lot of radios with the sync detection. So, okay. Um, I've seen on the shortwave listening um, Facebook page that there's a lot of people that wonder what is sync detection. I've also had some messages from people saying, hey, I don't, I don't understand that. What's the difference between sync uh, LSB, USB and uh, SSB or single sideband. Well, there's a big difference. The synchronous detector is a circuit that replaces the carrier of a station. So you see here I'm on AM mode. So this is only for AM mode, first of all. Okay? If you're on the amateur radio bands, sync detection is useless unless they're on AM, like utility stations. You don't use sync detection on utility stuff, never on single sideband signals. It is a feature that is meant to be used on AM signals only, like all the stations or most of the stations on the international broadcast bands, first of all. So when you listen to a station, this is WWCR. This signal has a carrier and has sidebands on each side that is the voice that you hear. That's why when nobody talks, the signal indicator still says there's a signal because the carrier is there. Synchronous detection is meant to replace that carrier with a internally made carrier from the radio either on one or the other side of the signal in AM. A AM signal is double-sided band because the voice that you hear is pretty much equal on one side and on the other side in the lower and upper. So that's why you could be tuning single sideband and still hear the voice in lower or upper sideband because the AM signal has both sidebands. Synchronous detector will replace it with only one sideband. That's why the sync detector has a upper sideband or a lower sideband setting. You choose which side you want to hear. It's called synchronous detector because the circuit of the radio automatically checks with the exact frequency of this carrier and will sync to it. It will synchronize to the perfect frequency so that it sounds right to your ears. Why would you use synchronous detection? Well, it's good in the cases where a signal is fading a lot. If you see a signal that fades up and down all the time and quite regularly and quite fast, sync detection, because it replaces the carrier, will reduce the effects of that fading, first of all. So if a signal fades a lot, turn on sync detection and you'll be surprised at how better it sounds compared to leaving it on AM. And there's another reason why sync detection is cool. If you're tuning a frequency, say that here I would have interference on a station that is on 15835 while I'm listening to 15825, that station being up, interfering with me, I'll put myself in sync, but in lower sideband sync. 
the station is up in frequency, I'll use the lower sideband or going down with the sync detector. If the reverse is true, for example, I'm on 15.825, a strong station is on 15.820, it's interfering. Well, I'll use sync upper sideband because the station interfering is lower in frequency. I will be listening upper in frequency. And he says, who is this that is darkening? So, it helps remove the interference from very close by stations. And it helps reduce interference from stations that fade a lot. So it's a cool thing to have on a radio. If you don't have it, don't go crazy. Don't start thinking you have to buy a new radio. But if you have to buy a new radio or you're thinking, buying a receiver with sync detection is not a bad idea. But there's a big problem. Not all re radios are equal. A lot of radios are bad on sync detection. This PL680 is one of the best I've ever seen with sync detection. Another one that I know that's really good, the Sony 7600 uh, JR. Great, great, great in sync detection. But there are others that are really bad. Uh, the Texan PL880 is an example. Sync detection is totally crap. And there's a lot of radios that have crappy sync detection. So if you are about to buy a radio with sync detector, ask people that know about shortwave radios. Is that one good? Search on the web for sync detection on a receiver and look at the facts. Is it good? Is it bad? Or is everybody complaining that sync detection on that model is absolutely zero? That's the last thing that you need to do. Unfortunately, a lot of radios have very, very crappy sync detector. So what happens is that the signal uh, will unlock frequently. A great example that I have here, the Dejan DE1106, which I believe is equal to the Grundig G3. The sync detector is horrible. It's horrible because it's off frequency. I know there's a fix on the internet to kind of fix it up, but you know, if you aren't a tech guy really, or if you're really in electronics, you don't want to have to fiddle with, you know, a soldering iron or fiddle in a radio electronics to fix it. You want to have something that works from the start. So if you don't know what to choose, choose this PL680. This is an amazing radio. Sync detection locks immediately. So if I do it, you'll see here. Right, here it goes. We barely noticed that the that the sync detection got on. Because the lock is just immediate and so fast. And even in lots of fading, it keeps locked surprisingly on this receiver. So that's sync detection for you. Uh, sync detection 101. Hope uh, it helps anyone wondering exactly what it does and when to use it. Uh, don't use it on single sideband signals. Sync detection is not made for that. The synchronous detector needs an AM carrier to sync to. So uh, that's why we use it on AM signals only. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe? Hopefully the videos will stay online and uh, we'll post of course tons and tons of videos of radios, shortwave and reception, tuning the bands, all sorts of nice interesting and nice shortwave stuff. Well, thanks for watching and I hope it helped you understand.